what is up? It is currently 7.10 p.m. It is the start of my next vlog. I am chilling. I'm doing some drawing. Stress relieving. Because I have a math test in the morning. So I figured I'm going to study and use my study sheet. Hey! Hey! So incredibly tired. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up this, I think. Or try to at least. Get ready for bed. Take my needle and go to sleep. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, yo? It is 9.06 p.m. I got my rice bags, got my PJs on. I guess you know what that means. It's bedtime! <laughs> oh, yeah. Got my mood lighting. Mood lighting and my salt lamp. Hi, guys. What is up? It is 6.58 a.m. I am up. I am ready for school. I just have to get my coat on my winter gear, because apparently it's still winter. Maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing quickly. Shirts from Giant Tiger, jeans, Old Navy, boots, tootsies, I don't know. When my eyes were stand by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence
when they arrived, they said they can interfere with domestic affairs. Between a man and his wife, and as they walked out the door, the tears well up in her eyes. Last night I heard the screaming, then a silence that chilled my soul. Prayed that I was dreaming when I saw the ambulance in the road and the policeman. Japanese. <laughs> you don't know Japanese. Yeah, I do. Toyota. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. <laughs> That's not right. Only right at the Godzilla. where we all cry tears of joy and eat cheese, which, as we know, is the way any good day ends. Number eight, the WWE Network increases in price. I gamble this one, but there's so much going on behind the scenes at WWE at the moment, I think it's something we could see in 2018. For starters, there have been countless surveys the company has put out asking customers if they would pay more for the network if it had X, Y, and Z. So if they had certain features, I imagine while the 999 model would stay, there may be a few more options should that entice you. The other argument here depends on whether Vince McMahon is up to away from his baby. If the rumours are true and that his new company, Alpha Entertainment, is about to invest heavily in American football, well, that could have a knock-on effect. I realise it's now a separate entity from WWE, but if it does go badly, as it did before, and everyone sits down and realises that something needs to change, why not whack the network for you up to try and balance out some of Then to announce the Women's Raw Rumble, but it's not like she's a weekly staple at the moment, so let's use that and transition into a new era, one where McMahons aren't running either show. You can bring them back at some point if you want, but everything seems to have been lined up for us all to have a break in 2018. It would be a shame if we didn't do this, especially given what else the year could bring. Number two, Daniel Bryan wrestles at WrestleMania. Now remember the title of this video is Bold Predictions. If we're doing limp predictions, we just go along with the fact that Daniel Bryan will probably wrestle again in 2018, but that's too easy. We're going in big here. Let's look at the landscape though. We all know the hoopla surrounding Daniel Bryan at the moment and his impending spat with Shane McMahon. And there's the fact that Bryan has been adamant that he will try and wrestle again this year. Throw all that together and there is a possibility that Vince McMahon stopped the latter from happening on the indie scene by putting the former into gear at WrestleMania. Weirder things have happened. There would be the risk, of course, that Shane McMahon wins. And the world would explode. But as we start the year, we're a lot closer to Daniel wrestling in the WWE than we have been for some time. Um... 6.54 p.m. I'm ending my vlog.